Greetings, true believers, and welcome to another bewitching episode of History of the Marvel Universe. Today we're looking at the history of Agatha Harkness, a powerful witch of indeterminate age. She is claimed to be centuries old, and at one point implied that she's been alive since before the fall of Atlantis, which occurred over 12,000 years ago. During the infamous Salem Witch Trials of the late 1600s, Agatha presided over the witches in the area, and intended to lead them in a battle against those who would see them slain. However, the other witches wished instead to escape and live in peace. Fortunately, the new warrior Firestar, who had been sent back in time as part of a scheme by the villainous Sphinx, was able to convince Agatha to listen to her people and avoid a messy conflict. They traveled far, settling in the mountains of what would later become Colorado, and built the secluded town of New Salem, named thus so they would never forget the cruelty of the outside world. Populated entirely by magic users, this city was mystically shielded and remained hidden for several centuries. During this time, Agatha married an unidentified resident of New Salem and begat a child named Nicholas Scratch. While it's unknown what became of her husband, it's said that Agatha left the city that she'd helped found, fearing that a society which walled itself off from the rest of the world was destined to fail. Relocating once again, she obtained an isolated house on Whisper Hill in upstate New York. There she lived, occasionally taking on magical students to pass on what she knew. But the years rolled on, and she eventually retired to a quiet, solitary existence. Her primary companion was her familiar, Ebony, a seemingly immortal demonic cat with the ability to grow into larger and more powerful forms. However, when Franklin Richards, the powerful mutant son of Mr. Fantastic and the Invisible Woman, was born, Agatha sensed his reality-shaking potential. Hiding her true nature, Agatha intentionally caught the attention of the Fantastic Four and was hired to become Franklin's caretaker while his parents were busy on their world-saving adventures. She watched over and protected the child during his infancy, eventually revealing her magical nature when she used a spell to rescue Mr. Fantastic from being trapped in the negative zone with the deadly Annihilus. However, Annihilus later struck back, abducting Franklin and supercharging his latent powers with a gene transmuter, intending to siphon off the cosmic energies and increase his own strength. The Fantastic Four were fortunately able to defeat Annihilus, but Franklin's power continued to build, and with no way to control it, it threatened all life on Earth. In order to prevent a global catastrophe, Mr. Fantastic was forced to use an experimental weapon to render his own son unconscious. Agatha Harkness was also present during all of this, having been captured by Annihilus during his schemes. It was her magic that allowed the Fantastic Four to escape the negative zone after Annihilus' defeat and she continued to watch over and protect the child while he was in his comatose state. Franklin would not awaken until several months later when the wedding of Pietro Maximoff and the Inhuman Crystal was interrupted by an attack from the killer robot Ultron. The Avengers, the Inhumans, and the Fantastic Four were all struck by Ultron's technologically generated psionic attack. This attack caused Franklin Richards to awaken and release the cosmic power stored within him, directing all of it at Ultron and thus destroying the robot's seventh incarnation. After that assault, Franklin was awake and, for the moment, depowered. Agatha felt she was no longer needed in looking after the child of the Fantastic Four and resigned from her position. However, during the wedding, she took notice of someone else who she felt could benefit from her tutelage. Pietro's twin sister, Wanda Maximoff, the Scarlet Witch. Although she didn't know it at the time, Wanda was the biological daughter of the powerful sorceress Natalia Maximoff, the previous Scarlet Witch. Not only that, but genetic experimentation at the hands of the High Evolutionary had given Wanda the seemingly mutant ability to cast probability-altering hexes. However, when Wanda was an infant, she was also touched by the magical energies of the demonic elder god Cthan, who intended to one day use her as a vessel. Sensing the Cthonic magic woven into her hex powers, Agatha Harkness offered to teach Wanda. 
Under Agatha's training, the Scarlet Witch learned the ways of sorcery and used it to better control her abilities. It was later discovered that these abilities stem from a powerful form of sorcery known as Chaos Magic, something that is evidently so rare that even the Sorcerer Supreme, Stephen Strange, once doubted its very existence. Eventually, Agatha felt that Wanda's training was complete and encouraged her to continue to study on her own. This was shortly before Wanda married her synthesoid teammate, The Vision. Meanwhile, during the decades that Agatha had spent away from New Salem, her son, Nicholas Scratch, had become the new leader of their hidden society, and sired several super-powered offspring of his own, which collectively became known as Salem Seven. Bitter and angry at his mother for abandoning him, Scratch declared that she had betrayed and endangered their community by interacting with the outside world. Agatha sensed the dark forces conspiring against her and abducted Franklin Richards, hoping his power would protect her. However, the boy was still unable to use his mutant abilities at the time, and so both he and Agatha were captured by the witches of New Salem. Seeking to save their son, the Fantastic Four traveled to Agatha's home on Whisper Hill. Once there, they encountered a being called the Eliminator, which Scratch had left behind to destroy the evidence of Agatha's presence. The FF cleverly faked their own defeat, escaping their mysterious attacker while it self-destructed, taking Agatha's home with it. While not much evidence was left behind, outside of the house, the four discovered the remains of a large metallic eggshell, which the Eliminator was birthed from. By examining the rare metal found in the egg, Mr. Fantastic was able to deduce its point of origin. Traveling there to investigate, the Fantastic Four discovered the hidden town of New Salem. The town initially appeared normal, with no evidence that the Eliminator could have come from there. But before the four could leave, Agatha Harkness used her magic to erect a flaming barrier in their path. And so the townsfolk dropped their mystical veil and stood revealed for what they were. The Fantastic Four battled the witches of New Salem, but ultimately the heroic foursome were defeated and imprisoned alongside Agatha Harkness. Agatha then returned young Franklin to his parents and attempted to explain the situation. However, before she could reveal the history of New Salem, she was taken to the middle of town where she was set to be executed. Fortunately, the Fantastic Four were able to escape their cell and battled the Salem Seven. After defeating their magical opponents, Mr. Fantastic declared to the people of New Salem that it was not Agatha Harkness who had compromised their secrecy, but rather Nicholas Scratch when he abducted Franklin Richards, which led the Fantastic Four right to them. Seeing the truth in those words, the residents of New Salem used their power to banish Nicholas Scratch to a dimension known as the Dark Realm, while Agatha and the Fantastic Four were allowed to go free. They later returned when Agatha invited the FF to join her during the annual ceremony to maintain New Salem's protective magics. But Salem Seven remained loyal to their father and attempted to summon forth his spirit during the ritual. This time, the Fantastic Four were defeated and the other residents of New Salem, including Agatha, were frozen in place. Young Franklin Richards thankfully escaped, but the Salem Seven intended to use his heroic family in a ritual to resurrect their father so they could make their attempt at global domination. Fortunately, Franklin was able to use his latent power to break the spell that had rendered Agatha and the witches of New Salem immobile. Agatha then countered the Salem Seven's ritual and prevented the return of Nicholas Scratch, simultaneously preserving the secrecy of New Salem. However, Scratch later made another attempt to return when he used the Negative Zone portal in the Fantastic Four's headquarters to reach out with his magic and possess Franklin. The FF brought the child to Agatha's rebuilt home on Whisper Hill, where, with the help of an exorcist known as Gabriel the Devil Hunter, they were able to discern the source of the possession. Evidently, the only way to free Franklin was to confront Nicholas Scratch once more, and so the group returned to New Salem yet again, to the site where he was banished for the first time. This time Scratch was freed from the Dark Realm, but Agatha successfully removed his ability to wield magic, depowering and disowning him. Agatha also decided to remain in New Salem and watch over its residents and her son once again.
However, this would become her downfall when Salem Seven turned their population against her once more, and Agatha Harkness was burned at the stake by her own grandchildren. Following her death, Agatha's spirit drew her former pupil, Wanda Maximoff, to New Salem. This, of course, led to Wanda and her husband, the Vision, encountering Salem Seven. Vertigo, the leader of the Seven and the self-proclaimed Queen of New Salem, attempted to wield the power of their entire community against the Vision and the Scarlet Witch. However, when the Vision struck Vertigo down, she lost control of the magical energy, which began erupting and threatening the lives of everyone around. Guided by the spirit of Agatha Harkness, Wanda attempted to take control of the energy, channeling it into the mountain to save herself and her husband. This release of power appeared to destroy New Salem and its inhabitants, but years later the town reappeared, completely intact and fully populated, and has since become a safe haven for those with magical powers. However, while Wanda briefly had access to all of that power, it seems she used it to conceive a child. And nine months later, she gave birth to twin boys, Billy and Tommy. The nature of these children greatly concerned Agatha Harkness, who mysteriously reappeared alive again. And with good reason, because soon after this it was discovered that the twins were created from the fractured soul of the Hell Lord Mephisto. You see, sometime earlier, during a confrontation with Doctor Strange and the Fantastic Four, Mephisto was destroyed by Franklin Richards and his spirit was shattered into six pieces. While Wanda briefly possessed the collective mystical energies of the Witches of New Salem, she subconsciously used that power to seize two fragments of Mephisto's Dark Soul and used them to create the embryos within herself, resulting in the birth of her twins. Mephisto soon returned and absorbed the two children into his being, reclaiming the missing pieces of his soul. However, because the souls of the twins were so transfigured by Wanda's magic, this left Mephisto vulnerable, and he was defeated and repelled by Ebony and Agatha. Then, in an attempt to spare her the pain of losing her children, Agatha erased Wanda's memories of them. As we previously covered in more detail, this eventually backfired when Wanda's memories returned, causing her to lash out at her friends and loved ones. When the Avengers and Doctor Strange confronted Wanda after she destroyed Avengers Mansion, it seems she was hiding out in Agatha's old home on Whisper Hill. Furthermore, when Colonel Nick Fury investigated the house after this, he discovered the body of Agatha Harkness, who it seems had been dead for quite some time. This potentially implies that Agatha's mysterious resurrection years prior was in fact an early example of Wanda involuntarily using chaos magic to alter reality. Or perhaps Agatha was simply another victim of Wanda's grief-driven madness, as her ghost has said that Wanda was the one who killed her. With chaos magic and reality warping involved, it's difficult to say for sure, but it's possible that Wanda subconsciously caused Agatha's resurrection, only to undo this spell when she lashed out at Agatha years later, resulting in a corpse that appeared to be older than it actually was. In any event, after Wanda regained her sanity and was reunited with her reincarnated children, Agatha Harkness returned in spectral form to watch over and advise her. After this, Wanda and Agatha entered the dimension known as the Witch's Road, alongside the spirit of Wanda's biological mother, Natalia Maximoff, the previous Scarlet Witch. In order to revive the goddess of witchcraft who had been bound and weakened by the forces of chaos, Natalia sacrificed her sense of self, joining her soul with the goddess so that witchcraft itself would survive. In the moments when her mind was still her own, Natalia used the goddess's power to send Agatha and Wanda back to Earth, restoring Agatha Harkness to life in the process. Since then, Agatha has continued to be an enigmatic figure, occasionally intervening in events and providing magical help and advice to the heroes of Earth. As for her son, Nicholas Scratch eventually returned, having had his powers restored to him by the dread Dormammu, an arch-nemesis of Doctor Strange. 
He later tricked his children into helping him summon the dark god Shuma Gorath, intending to sacrifice them to the beast. Betrayed by their father, the Salem Seven fought alongside the Fantastic Four to defeat Shuma Gorath and banish Nicholas Scratch to another Hell Dimension. After this, the Salem Seven were taken in by Doctor Strange, who attempted to set them on a more righteous path. They have since been seen in the rebuilt New Salem, protecting magical beings with nowhere else to go. However, their father has pledged his loyalty to the Hell Lord, Mephisto. And Nicholas Scratch hasn't been seen since. Hey, that's all I got for you this time, but thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, share the video, and subscribe for more marvelous content. Speaking of which, many of the things we touched on in this video are covered in more detail in other videos on the channel. So be sure to check out the description below if you want more information. And of course, be sure to leave a comment letting me know what Marvel hero or villain you want to hear out next, and as always, the issues referenced in this video are listed in the description as well if you would like to read them for yourself, as well as links to other places you can find me, including my Patreon page, where for only a dollar a month you can get your name in the special thanks here, and a fancy golden name over on the Discord server. So until next time, true believers, Excelsior!